Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 uh, Monday Night Football pregame second quarter kickoff show. And the Baltimore Ravens are, <clears throat> and the uh, Oakland Raiders are squaring off right now at Elijah Stadium in, uh, in uh, Paradise, Nevada. And they're up 14-7 right now with a minute 7 to go. They just put uh, uh, 12 seconds back in the clock because of a certain play call. Uh... It's second and ten. The Raiders have the ball to 36. Uh, we'll I'll break down the game, tell you what I think, and uh, all that. Uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Week 1 trivia question. Which quarterback set a Monday Night record with 458 yards passing in a game in 1989? I'll have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's Monday Night Football Week 1. Are you ready for some football? We have a great a a a AFC uh, matchup for you tonight. The Baltimore Ravens and the Las Vegas Raiders uh, are scoring, are battling it out right now at Elijah Stadium in Paradise, Nevada, as I said. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens had a stellar season last year and got all the way to the AFC Championship game, but lost to the Kansas City Chiefs and were denied a trip to the Super Bowl. Uh, in quarterback Lamar Jackson's third training camp practice over the summer, he watched rookie wide receiver uh, Rashad Bateman, the Baltimore Ravens' first-round pick, uh, drop to the ground in pain, holding uh, his groin while yelling, I popped that, uh, and he, he was definitely in pain. With so many players gone down, Jackson does Jackson feel more pressured to carry the team? And he says, no, I'm always going to, to uh, try to do more regardless of the of the fact, uh, Jackson said. Uh, this was a bill as last year in which Jackson had uh, no excuses and needs to take the Ravens passing game to the next level. Uh, the supporting cast was considered the strongest in his four, season, in his four NFL seasons. Now the Ravens are, uh, are going to be a team to be reckoned with once again this season, and they'll be right up there uh, with the, uh, even though it was a tough loss to the Browns, I still say there's hope, and the Browns are really going to have uh, their year to shine, and they're going to be right up there, uh, along with uh, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. I think will do okay too, but uh, I'm not, and I, but I don't, but I'm not uh, saying they're going to be up there. Uh, and the Ravens' offense, uh, and. Uh, and this season, uh, this and you can be sure the, that Jackson and the Ravens' offense and defense will make the Raiders work in the game tonight. Meanwhile, the Raiders are looking to improve from their eight and eight record last season, and the Raiders will have their starting uh, starting running back Josh Jacobs back for Week One for the Week One showdown against the Ravens. And uh, uh, K uh, 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 K D. Uh, 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 Darnell back for uh, week one. So I'll expect him to play. And uh, the Raiders really want to improve on that record. And if the Raiders want to uh, win this game tonight, they're going to have to score on Baltimore and jump on Baltimore early uh, first and keep the Lamar Jackson on the ground. And the Raiders offense is going to really have to try hard to uh, really uh, put the pressure on the uh, Ravens defense. And the Raiders defense is going to have to really try to uh, put pressure on the Ravens offense. But the Raiders really are going to have a, their hands full with the Ravens tonight. Even though it's a home game, I am picking the Baltimore Ravens to win this game. And so is my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. And I think he's going to win the picks this week. Because right now, I am at 8-6. and at, uh, eight and six, Or 8-7. and seven, And my brother-in-law is at 9-6. and six. So, uh... So, uh... And there's now 33 seconds to go till halftime. 14-7 Ravens, and Baltimore has the ball. First and 10 at their 35. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, I just feel Baltimore is going to get their win on the road in this game tonight. So, uh, But the Raiders really have to step it up tonight and really uh, give Baltimore uh, and really uh, make Baltimore work and really, uh, uh, really uh, have a strong secondary that really can really keep the pressure on the front line the Ravens front line, and they really have to really, and they really have to uh, keep Lamar Jackson from scoring and the, all the other Ravens from scoring, and they really uh, have to really put the pressure on uh, 
Not only Lamar Jackson, but uh, Lamar, uh, but also uh, uh the uh, um, and uh, the uh, and the uh, the Ravens secondary as well. So uh, be, keep that in mind for tonight's game, as uh, the first half just about to end with 16 seconds left. But in the, look for that in the second half. Uh, uh, I'm going to come back in a second with more of that, but right now it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Week 1 Trivia Question. Which quarterback set a record, set a Monday Night record with 458 yards passing in a single game? And if you said the great Joe Montana, you are correct. Montana torched the Rams on, on, the, on, the, Monday, on the night of December 11th, 1989. 49ers wide receiver John Taylor also set a Monday night record during the game with 286 yards receiving. That record was broken by his teammate Jerry Rice six years later. And I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, so stay tuned for that. Uh, <coughs> now we're going to go back and uh, go over all of uh, all of week one action, beginning with Thursday. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Dallas Cowboys 31 to 29 in uh, Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay. The Houston Texans, where the Browns will take on their home opener this Sunday, beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 37 to 21. The Cincinnati uh, Bengals beat the Minnesota Vikings in overtime 27 22 at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. The Seattle Seahawks uh, beat the Indianapolis Colts. 28-16 at uh, Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. The uh, Arizona Cardinals manhandled the Tennessee Titans 38-13 at Nissan Stadium in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. No. <coughs> uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers uh, beat the Buffalo Bills in a shocker. 23 to 16 at Bill Stadium in Buffalo. Uh, Detroit tried to come back, but San Francisco still won 41 to 33 at Ford Field in Detroit. The Carolina Panthers beat the New York Jets 19 to 14 at uh, Bank of America Stadium in Atlanta. Uh, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles all over Atlanta 32 to 6 at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in in uh, Atlanta. Uh, the uh, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the, the Cleveland Browns, which Cleveland let one slip through, slip, slip through their fingers. And even though it was a loss, there were a lot of, uh, pl- of uh, positives in this game on the plus side. Uh, 33 to 29 at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. The New Orleans Saints came out of nowhere yesterday. Under new quarterback Jameis Winston, and smoked the Green Bay Packers, thirty-eight to three. Not the performance Aaron Rodgers wanted to have in their in their first game of the season. <clears throat> the Miami Dolphins beat the New York the New England Patriots by one, seventeen to sixteen at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. And the uh, the uh, Denver Broncos uh, beat the New York Giants 27 to 13 at uh, MetLife Stadium in New York. And last night on Sunday Night Football, the LA Rams uh, beat the uh, Chicago Bears 34 to 14. And uh, and uh, right now the uh, is that halftime. The uh, Baltimore Ravens are beating, and now uh, the Ravens kicked the field goal just before halftime. It's 14-10 Ravens at halftime. So uh, we shall see how this game will end, and I will uh, recap it on the postgame show once this game has concluded between the Ravens and the Raiders. Uh, Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the uh, Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football uh, pre-game second quarter halftime kickoff show. I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football post-game show once the game between the Ravens and the Raiders has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 
Three, two, one. I'm done.